Hi there, and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name's Alice, and today we are back for the final time in Portal Stories Mel. It's been a long time coming, the end of this game. But we are finally here, chapter five. We're gonna get it all done in one hit because I don't think it's gonna take us much longer than an hour to finish. Last time we got through the old, well, technically new portal areas, <clears throat> test areas. I'm still ill, by the way, so sorry about that. But we got through the old test areas, um, managed to, I think Aegis has retracted us, so we're now working with Vigil to go and get the bits we need, some turrets and stuff, so we can beat Aegis. There's no reason to keep rambling. Let's just get on in and get started. So I see Scary Red up ahead. How far do you reckon we can go without dying? Ah, lab generator access. Turret facility access. This is why you walk around. Security testing access. So if I walk straight down there, I'm going to die because... T turrets. Okay, Jesus. Okay, uh, let's go to... He said to go to turrets, right? Let's head this way. No. Uh, I didn't want to go to turrets, so I wanted to go to the lab, to be fair. Just humor me. I'm just going to double check. I can't go through this door, can I? No. To the lab! I wanted to go to the lab. That was my plan all along, to go to the lab. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Am I going to die? Just in case. There you go. Hello! The gill! Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, hang on a second. Oh, this isn't fun. Okay, wait. They're everywhere. Hi. I am still here. Target lost. But you can't shoot me through the glass, can you? Sucks to be you, turret friend. Okay, so if I go here... I don't think I can be got. Hi, kids! Uh, how's it going? Lovely to meet your acquaintance. But you can't get me. <laughs> God, it really sucks to be you. Nope, now it sucks to be me. Oh no, that's fine. Whoop. Well, that was easy. Was I stressing for nothing? Do I need to get in there, do you reckon? Target lost. They... Ah! Guess that was too close. Can I get in there? I don't feel the need to go in there. I'm going to try this way, because I think this is where I need to go. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Every vent in there is filled with those turrets. Great. pulled up every last one of them a long time ago. Wonderful. Uh, okay, can't go this way. That is, for all intents and purposes, certain death. So we go this way. Cool. Going up. Are there any turrets in here? I don't want to suddenly die, you know what I mean? Generator room. I can, I can jump out here. Just trying to think why I would need to. Keep it in the back of the mind for a future reference just in case I need to. Nope, we're all good. Hello? What's in here? Okay, Mel, I'm Bloody reading hell, that the generators that. are offline. Great. The only way that the security systems can come online is to turn on those generators. Okay. But according to my research, yep. the manual startup is over in the control room uh -huh. for generator two. And it's locked. Great. The control room for generator one has a manual security override though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I'm gonna get killed by turrets. Live turrets. I have a sneaky suspicion. I know what's gonna happen. Suspicion? Suspicion even. I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna open the thing and do the thing and then... We're gonna open the thing and do the thing and then these are gonna open and be full of turrets who want to kill me. So I think for now I can say we're safe. I'll say it with trepidation. I don't know for sure. This looks good. Hello. I can't get in there. Okay. How do I get in there? 
Isn't that where I came from? And now I'm stuck. This way? This one. All right, here we go. So we're gonna press a button in here that's gonna open all those doors. Hey, I was wrong, I was wrong. That was a bad idea. Yep. The security system's kicked in. You can't open the doors from the Jesus. inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on and then ah! Okay, I'm, I'm actually being shot. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I can't get out of here. Okay, they're not shooting me here. They've, they've destroyed the glass. Wait, I don't understand. What have they done that I can now use to my advantage? There's no better portal in here. Apart from the ceiling, which doesn't help me. In the slightest. Can they get me from here? The portal wall there. Where can you shoot me? Uh, ah! There, you can shoot me there. Okay, ow! You can find me, but you guys aren't shooting me. I'm trying very hard to work out what I've got to do. I can shoot balls on the ceiling, which doesn't help me. I can't get out of here, to be fair. If I, if I jump down there, they're going to kill me pretty quick. I'm pretty confident. I'm going to have to try it. Go, 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 go. I don't know how I did that. How did you... I don't know. Well, I guess Jesus! Does work. Stop! Good work. Stop, 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 stop. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, No, did I? you didn't. Because I'm pretty much stuck where I am without dying. Okay, I'm somehow safe here. Can I can I portal here? There's nowhere to portal. I don't know what it wants me to do. I can portal on the ceilings, but that's it. I can't portal out here. I can't get through that door. Can I? No, 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 no. There's no other surface on which I can portal. Apart from the damn ceilings inside. There's no way I can jump in there. Is there? No, 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 no. I have to run quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, okay, okay. There, there, there. Woo! Okay, hi! Hello! And all right, now that we have the power turned back on, we need to go to the security room right. overlooking the bridge to the 80th core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. Okay. Easy. That was uh, very easy. I didn't nearly die many times at all. We don't have the turrets on side yet, though, do we? Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't think about there possibly being turrets around here. Uh, now you want me to jump on the thing. That's mean, but okay. <laughs> Can't scream, haven't got a voice at the moment, but that was scary. I'm, I'm quite scared. How do I? But how do I? Oh, God. Do you think I have to... Do the critter crouch? Yes, we crouch. We crouch. We are. We're stuck. Whoa! Hey, step. I'm amazing at this game. I'm so good. Oh, God. I've got about these bastards in here. Okay. Everything's fine. Really? Yes, really. Ah! That was extremely risky, Alice Holloway. Not like me at all. Okay, everything's... Ah! Everything's fine! I'm okay! Oh, God. Okay, well, that's now down. 
Uh, scary. Sure. I want to go this way now. Jesus. All right. So, um, okay. I think that might not be as easy as I once thought. You're so not very good at this. Has done quite a bit of redecorating on these catwalks. Great. Good thing you got a portal gun. Oh, wonderful. Pop that. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Just go this way. Great. Love that for me. Right, hang on a second. Oh, I can't get up there. Anywhere I can use that to my advantage. No, I don't think so. Hi, friends. Let's go, fellas. Oh, wait. Why didn't I do this? No, I did the wrong one again. There you go. Can I get up on there? God, that's annoying. Because that would be a great way to get around this, is to just pull in behind them. And there's nowhere I can go back here to shoot my other portal. No, because I can't. Can't bring anything with me either, because there's an emancipation grill there. Interesting, I can still open that though. This is this is extremely infuriating because I thought I'd be able to use it and I can't. So I don't really know what it wants me to do. Ah, plan, 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 plan. Yes! <laughs> Well, that's one way to do it. How about... Yeah, we go! <laughs> Whee! Torrents for days! Good to see you, kids. Lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> that's what we like to see. Death of all turrets. Oh, shit, 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 shit. He's got another one coming. And I think this one took out the catwalks before. Avoid those turrets and get to the security room. Okay. I just go through here. Nope. Crap. All right. No, nope. everything's fine. I'm gonna have to. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing a problem now. How close can I get before they get me? You know what I mean? There's gotta be what color is down on the orange. So I need to shoot blue. There's a there's a tunnel. Okay. Try this. I see what you want me to do, game. I really do. I'm just trying to trying to work out how close I can get before I die. One last try here. So instead of... Where's the... Ugh, come here. That. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that'll do. That's kind of what I was trying to do. Oh, oh, heads. Watch it. Really? There you go. Saw it. Hello, dead turrets. Love to see you, love to see you. Where are they in comparison to where I am? <laughs> Peekaboo Beach. Alright, I got a much better viewpoint on what I need to do now. Is there a way back up here if I. Yes. Okay. Blame you. Now I'm just gonna make this super satisfying. One, two, 
three, four. Oh, that's less satisfying. I was kind of hoping they'd all fall off. Right, okay, now I'm here. Now I'm, I'm here. Where's the box cube thing? Lovely. What does this button do? Changes my thing around. Well, that's fine, because I... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. How do I get in there? Okay, this is easy, though. This is really, really easy. First things first. Was not that. Somehow, I made a very easy thing very difficult, because I pressed the wrong button. It's fine. Pop it here. I messed it up. Right, now put that there. Like so? Can I use this door? Well, I hope so. I'm trying to use it, that's for sure. The door? I guess this was pointless. Okay, great. Help, I am stuck. Jesus. Glad this door is pointless to me. I'll just follow the turret, shall I, and uh, go up there. Up there. Alright, I need to get down there to find out what I need to do. God, don't fail this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Breathe, 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 breathe. Holy crap! What was that? Jesus. Don't do that to me. Okay. Right. I get back in there though. I'm seeing a few problems with what I need to do here, but we're gonna try it anyway. Ah yep, yep, I'm dead. Okay, 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 okay. Do you know what? Let's try it. Where's this going to take me? There you go. That's why you try these things. Because sometimes what you're trying to do is not what you actually need to do. Ah, let's take it out. Lovely. That's where we were to start. Look at that. Oh, we're going around a big loop. Wonderful. All right. Rolling out. I am oh, authorized great. personnel. You're there. There should be a switch around this room. Want yep. to flip it? Aegis's main security system. The Jerry Dolby Guardian and Intrusion System Core Mainframe Security at 20%. External intrusion detected. Uh oh. All remaining power diverted to target manufacturing. Uh oh. Line. Production increasing to 350%. The girl that ah, did not work. Right. The turrets. Yep. Uh, well, it seems he's diverted all the power that yep. was going to the death fizzlers into the turret production. Yep. Which, hang on. That's not so bad. Good. Get back to the elevator room. Time to turn okay. the tables on Angus. Is that this way? Don't make me go back all that way. Oh, wait. No, no, hang on. Put that there a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, actually, good point. What the hell am I doing? How do I? Ah, oh, wait. That's how we do it. Okay, thank you, game. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everyone's okay. We're all alive. It's all fine. All right. Back into the elevator room. We've right. now got the all turret door open. It's those turrets. Remember yeah. how we pumped up the old turrets? This is where they no. might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay. I feel like okay. we're gonna do a weekly Here's in here. The plan. Yep. <laughs> We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So, go into the scanner area yep. and take how oh, that didn't work. Computers have a template for it. Uh, which leads us to solution number two. Might break Use again. one of the old turrets to override ah! the template. I can Did it blow up? I can program it to not shoot yep. you. 
And before you know, you got an army. Oh no, there's a turret ah, there. Scratch that idea. Apparently, there are no diversity events here, which means I can't bring one in. I guess pumping up those turrets was a total waste of time. Great. Lovely. So. Can I go through that door? Idea. No. We've got to override the targeting system on these ones manually. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. Okay, great. Now the door's open. Okay. I don't know if they can shoot me. I'm a little bit scared. So. Just in case they can, we'll move quickly. I hear lots of firing. It's quite See scary. On the other side. And just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. Christ alive. Really? Okay, no. There has to be somewhere I can portal out here. I'm just gonna instantly die. 2015! Interesting. Christ alive. Ah, okay, there's walls I have to run with. I don't know how I'm doing this. Ah! Jesus, 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 Jesus. Take the wheel! I don't know how this is happening. Or if this is even, like, am I even in danger here? I can't do anything here. Okay, I don't know what to do now. What am I doing? Are they even shooting me? No. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, death. Oh, this is confusing now. That's not exactly what I thought it was going to be at all. Can I even get killed there? Turns out this is just threatening, and it's not scary. I don't actually think I can get shot here. Okay, what we gotta do... Ow! There. And then, ow! Okay. <laughs> there you Phew. are! I knew all that track running would do you good someday. Look, that wood model is what's causing the turret to shoot at humans. If you replace it with something else, yep. they'll shoot that instead. Okay. What are we talking about? That thing. Ah, okay, this. So we need to replace this with what? Hmm. Oh, I get in like this. Can I have this thing? Thanks. Oh no. Ah! How about this? Yes. Here we go, oh computer. My. You're clever. Now the turrets will target the server banks Ta -da! instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced. Can I take my friend with allowing me? Allowing you to finally destroy Aegis. All right, I think we're ready. The reprogramming work. Stand in front of the model. One of two things will happen. Well, they the weren't first, shooting me anyway. They won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that. Just, just what trust me. Model? Ah, oh, there. You want to go and stand over there? Hello, kids. Am I your target? Oh, it's the deploying. That was a little bit scary. Great. I think we're good. I think we're safe. Yep. I'm ready. I'm ready to take him on. I think. I think we got that sorted. This is, like I said, this is very Wheatley. This is exactly the same thing sort of we did with Wheatley. Can I even go through here? No. Why am I here then? Ser seriously? Why am I here? Other way? Is this not the way I came from? Live turrets. Yeah, that is exactly where I came from. Okay. Excuse me, kids. I just need to... Wink. Wink. There we go. Ow. Stop shooting me when I don't deserve to be shot. Please. Oh, right. I'll do. Okay, go this way. Do, 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 do. 
Christian through this door. I'm, I, uh, game, game. Thank you. Jesus, I'm not that big. Alrighty, Rue. I think we've done everything we can now to, uh, I've gone round right in a circle. I've got to go the other way. Now. Wonderful. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. So I should now be able to walk past any turret with no problem. Super breezy, nice and easy, no stress. I should be able to walk down that corridor. Oh, forgot to mention. With all those the scary. Those were automatically replaced by the system. Yeah, okay. As it read that there was an update to the turret's targeting systems. Every update, they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up You can appreciate can my trepidation, though, going down here. Hacking. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about life now. I guess we're going in. There's, there's nothing... There's no, there's no further reason to dilly-dally. So, without further ado, let's take him on. Who is Aegis? Let's find out. Oh god, it's all quiet. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Oh god, it's all quiet, is what I tried to say. Hello? We can't go in there. Oh, that's the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Aegis, we should, should be, be able, able to, to use it to get you out of Great. here. Great. Unfortunately, there are no management rails in there, so you'll have On to do own. it without me. Okay. But don't worry, though. I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. Oh god. All right, Mel. This is it. This is Aegis's server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantine yep. operations center. This is cool. Let's Prepare go through here. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I need well, the door. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. Yep. It doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. Well, this should be quite easy then. Hello? Hello? I'd like to go. I can go through here now. Lovely. Careful, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. Okay. To the back of the room. Look up. There's a portal surface above the water pipe. You should be able to use that to cross over to the other side. Can I shoot it from here? Oh, yeah. Blue. That one, well. Blue. Yeah, it's above the water pipe, but above me, I can't see that from here. I can't get that from here, can I? I don't actually know how I managed that, but there we go. Um, hi. Where do I go from here? Is there another game of jump? The floor is lava. Yes, it is another game of the floor is lava. Hey, bro. I'm amazing, I did it. Dispensing turrets. Ah! Executing turrets. Okay, that's fine. Yes, it's the servers. Get Grab that turret ah. and destroy the rest of them. Excuse me, little friend. Hello. Hi. We're working together. We're working together. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. We're working together. Oh. We're friends. No, no, no. It's going to kill itself. Come in. There you go. Have a Beautiful. Good job, kid. There's another one over there. Can you see it? Yeah. You destroyed them all. I can unlock the other side now. Perfect. Uncompromised cards found. Deploying well, crap. That doesn't sound good. No, you're right. It doesn't sound crap. good. He got his hands on the old turrets. Yep. Those still have the old targeting parameters. Yep. Ah, why did I pump those useless things up? Watch yourself. 
Okay, I'm going to have to... Wait, I now have a turret in here with me. That's not super helpful. I need this. I need it somewhere here, though. Ah, there. There you go. I'm just going to go quickly, because I fear he might try and kill me. Okay. Hello? Metal folk? Huh. Was this pointless? No. I was supposed to come up here. I just don't know why. <sighs> crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap. Why am I up here? Is that turret now going to try and kill me? Where am I going to go? This doesn't seem like a very helpful place to be. You get me? Unless I can now do this. Huh. No. But I could do this. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm really stuck. Okay. This way? Initiating asphyxiation program. Oh, shit. Draining oxygen. Crap, 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 crap. Lethal oxygen Oh, I need that kid back over here. Six minutes. Okay, Mel. This is it. You have minutes. just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. If you can't shut him okay. down before he shuts you down, the entire facility will flood with the toxic goo Are you going to kill me or him? Up. Great. You're my friend. Let's go, kid. Let's go. One more turret. I can't pick it up. Okay, next one, next one. There you go. Get those. Oh! No, you're stuck. I'm trying. I should have brought the other one with me, I know. But uh, I didn't. So, here we are. Oh, sit down, you stupid thing. Yeah, I know. We've got five minutes. We're all chill here, though, kid. So, don't you stress it. Oh shit. Okay, I need the can I bring the turret to No I can't, can I, can I, can I? No, and I can't use this. The entire facility depends on you. Yep, okay. Right, that doesn't help me at all. You've gotta die, I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay, right, fine, whatever. Are there turrets everywhere now? I don't know how to get rid of that turret, to be fair. To me. I can't. Ow, 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 ow. Ugh, I, can't, I can't get rid of that. Yeah, shut the hell up, man. I'm trying to think. At least I got a new one of you. But I can't put that portal where it needs to be, because... Can't I just hold you up when you get them from here? What do you want me to do here? Ow. I'm trying to. Can you try? The gill, can you shut the hell up? Because you're not helpful to anybody. None of this is making any sense. I can't shoot the portals up where I need them to go. Goodness sake. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Nothing is making any sense. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Yep. Shut up. 
Shut up. Just shut up. I'm gonna die anyway. What do you want me to do here, kid? What what's what's the plan? Good job. That's half the servers on this site blown up. There are a few more upstairs. So we'll destroy them too. Get upstairs. Ah. Hi. Why can't you shoot me? Mel? We don't have much time left. Hurry. I need you to break that window. Can I pick it up? All right, that was very helpful, to be fair. The entire facility depends on you. Yes, Virgil, shut up. I'm very aware of the situation we find ourselves in. Okay, I need you to quieten down now. Okay. Oh, what happened? Okay, it's fine. There's another one. Okay, I need you to come in and to just, you know, I don't know, piss off over there for something. There we go, that'll do. Right, where are you? Where's my turret gone? Oh, are you kidding? Oh! That's quite annoying. You know what? That's a little bit more than quite annoying. That's very annoying. No, don't die! Don't die! Don't want to oh! you. God, this is irritating. This is real, real irritating. Oh, I didn't realise I could just grab them and they would blow up, to be fair. So, here we go. Just kill those, would you? Where's the best place to put you? Yeah, not that way. There you go. One, two, three. How are you not seeing that one? Three, and the one at the end. Two, right, the other side remain. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Watch the turrets. Can I get you to? You won't do that. Okay, that's quite annoying to find out. How am I getting in there? Yeah, that was the play. That really was the play. <laughs> oh! This is not fun. This is just confusing. Really, really confusing. Yeah, that was not helpful. Great. My turret's dead again. Okay, we're in. Hi, you. Time to die. Ah! You didn't break the window. Oh, I needed you to break the window. No, I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead this time. I can't get out of here. Yes, I can. I can do this here. Lovely. No, no! God damn it. They're so bloody, shitty, pissy, wanky pits. Right, hang on now. Let's put you down here for a second. Yeah, well, shut up. Yeah, great, fine. Brilliant. I should have it. I don't know what you want me to do here, game. Can you not fall over? Can you just stand up? No! I said, don't fall over! I don't know how to put that down without it falling over. Right, bloody hell. Yep, I know, I'm aware. Right, I just need you to sit still for one second. Uh-huh. Search all you want. Right, come here. 
I will in a minute. I better have it. Oh, you piece of shit. Right, go. Go. Come on. Last one, last one. Get it, get it. Beautiful. And on the other side. We're fine, everything's fine. Don't die now. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I've got you, 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 I've got you. I can't believe that just happened. I think I'm gonna do it now. Oh! Come on! This is so frustrating! Do you have any idea how annoying this is? I don't know what you want from me! I'm never gonna make it! Never gonna make it! Never gonna make it with these shitty controls! Stay there! Come here! I swear down, if you don't do this, I'm gonna cry. No! No! I don't actually know how this I did that. It. If you can get inside the mainframe and shut it down, yep. we'll be home free. Yep. You can leave, and I can live forever. Yep. So, whenever you're ready, get in the mainframe I'm trying. and shut him down. I'm so done with all of this, and, so I'm just trying. And stop the toxic goo from flooding the facility, <laughs> you know. Uh, you should be able to fling yourself on top of him. There's a hatch on him you can open to manually shut it down from the inside. What? What, what do you want from me now? Where am I bloody jumping from? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, yeah, this, this feels, this feels good. This feels, this feels fantastic. Can I shoot that from in here? Well, why on earth would I be able to do that? Why would that be a thing I could do? No, obviously I can't shoot that from in here, which is where I need it to be to be able to have a platform to jump from. Unless there's one on the other side. Sorry, I got angry. But trust me, that was infuriating. I can't get back in there. Uh, I can't walk through. Oh, I can walk through there because there's no phase gate. I understand what you want me to do. Sorry I got angry. Okay, but trust me, that was infuriating. Whee! I'll do. Hello. Oh, there you go. I think that's it. I think this is the final cutscene. Am I in a spaceship? 2056. That seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. We should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Obviously. This is a cutscene. Oh wait, Mel. Before shutting this thing down completely, remember that there was a third target it was trying to take but out? But I don't know what or who well, the third target was. We're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. Try to see what you can do. Type um, ping underscore target underscore list. GLaDOS. Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? Damn. It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel, what have we done? <laughs> GLaDOS killed every scientist in this facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject, this thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy her. Mel, we might just have given GLaDOS a chance to get back in power. <laughs> How could we have done that? That's clever. Why didn't I see it sooner? I like that. 
Well, if you want to get out of here, now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she no, comes back online. No, you do not want to be around. <laughs> no, you do not. You should shut down Aegis now. Needs a Two, pass code. Zero, five, six. Now you should be around do here I need to do this? somewhere. We're still in a cutscene, to be fair. Yep. Not obvious at all, is it? 2056. I've seen that number that around a lot in this place. Strange. Hmm. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel, come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility. Oh, it's good. No, nope, this is all still a cutscene. I'm not doing anything. Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Bye. Bye, portal gun. Later, the girl. Uh, Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Did you now? Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It, it was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Will it? Well, whatever you can call normal I was gonna by say, this point. It's like 50 years later, isn't it? I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. <laughs> You'd hope so. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. What? Look, the elevator is here. See you later. Bye. Mel. Oh, jeez. Whoosh. I was going to say, is that it? This is weird. Goo. All the goo. This is uh, GLaDOS's level that we destroyed in Portal 1. So obviously somewhere I should recognise but do not. Oh, we're coming out. Are we really? Do you reckon it's going to be the same exit as the end of Portal? Well, spoilers, Portal 2. No, it's different. Dear Lord. That is pretty wrecked, isn't it? Jesus. Whoa, 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 we're getting a much bigger look at things. Wow. It's a bit intense. I was gonna say, if that has anything, any portal, uh, <coughs> any Half-Life references, they're gonna go straight over my head. I still haven't played those games, but they are coming soon. Especially now, I do believe we have finished Portal Story Mel. Wow. Oh, what? Well, I mean, it, it's interesting because it's not a Valve game. So, as much as Valve have said, yes, you can take this, I think Valve have said, and please correct me if I'm wrong, yes, you can take this, yes, this is canon, um, and it fits between the two Portal games. It isn't made by Valve, it wasn't developed by the brains that gave us Portal. It's still a really cool game, I really enjoyed it. There were times where it either wasn't clear, the controls were a bit... Uh, irritating for want of a better word that last section the reason I was getting so annoyed with it <coughs> sorry I'm done with my voice the reason I was 
getting so annoyed with it was um, was just because the the turret itself wouldn't stay standing. It was very easy to knock over, and you knock it over, it destroys itself. When you have to do such a tricky jump with no portable surfaces in the last area, you have to make that jump and keep hold of the turret. And if you drop it or it glitches through the portal or something, it destroys itself. It's very annoying. Especially when I only had two left and I was just trying to move the damn thing. <coughs> and I thought that I'd run out of time. I didn't think, I don't actually know how I did it in the end. Um, just check there's nothing else at the end of the credits. There's something at the end of the credits. Oh dear. Jesus, where are we going? I'm dizzy. Oh, Aegis. Uh oh. Training facility reserve power. Waking test subject 00, uh, 001. Subject C redacted. Well done. Well done. I like that. Well done! Oh, uh, yeah, okay, it's canon to me now. Oh, that is epic. Love that. So this, what I'm about to say, <clears throat> is spoilers for Portal 2, though I'm sorry, I have been dropping them throughout this play. I do just assume if you've watched me play this, you've either seen both Portal games by me or played by someone else. This is a Portal 2 spoiler, so I'm going to put a timestamp here, uh, just in case you want to skip it. So basically, what they're suggesting in that cutscene is that Aegis's last play was to wake Shell to kickstart the events of portal 2 like the last shout agus had of trying to completely destroy glados was to rewake shell that is so awesome i absolutely love how they tied that in oh mega credit to these guys they've really thought about the story and how it fits and i really really like that so this is the end of the game i'm gonna take off the headphones um as this awesome jazz music plays uh, and i'm just gonna kind of talk about the game um some of the things I liked about it, some I didn't. What I was saying there before the credits came and stuff, and we got interrupted by that post credit scene, was that the thing that was so irritating about that last section is you want me to do a finickety jump that if the turret glitches slightly, or if I put it down slightly the wrong way, it explodes, and I have to do it all again. I'm no good with time limits anyway. But that was just a lot to try and do. I'd have almost preferred, like, once you got to that point, or even if you're there and there's 30 seconds to go and it blows up, that area where the turret comes in with the doors open, it appears there instead. Or that you can, like, something opens and there's a portable wall at the back of that turret area. Although that doesn't help because the problem is you can't portal into the room. Anyway, that was what was irritating. That was why I was going so mad because I was so close with 39 seconds on the clock and I genuinely thought when I lost that turret, there was no way I was going to get, I wasn't going to be able to, and then I lost another one trying to get it back. It's just the fact that you had to go up, to go down, to go across, to go across, and there's so many chances on a turret that doesn't just sit. You can put it down, it can still fall over, it can be shooting, it can still fall over. That was what was so irritating about that. So maybe like those turrets even keep the level exactly the same, but instead of the three legs, put that turret on a weird single base, just so it doesn't fall over, because there's enough going on. You've got other turrets trying to shoot you, you've got emancipation grills, you can't take the turret through, you've got to do the jumps with the momentum to get across the ledge, you can't portal in, there's so much else going on, it's just another thing on top of it that's just, to me, it was a little bit too much, and I think that's probably the biggest fall down this game had where where areas were too difficult well not too difficult where areas were difficult it went one too far you had one too many things to be worrying about or sorting out or trying to do and it was just to me that was what the that's where the irritation came through that's where it was a little bit annoying um 
But aside from that, I really enjoyed the story. The levels were good. Some of them a little bit more tricksy than others. A few I did have to look up, um, especially as we got closer to the end there. Nine times out of ten, it was either me overthinking things or, you know, once I'd worked out what I needed to do, it was, it was fair enough. It was just me not thinking maybe so far outside the box. Now, I know when this game originally came out, it was a lot harder than it probably was when I just played it. And there is a different mode you can play, which is advanced mode or something. I'm not doing it because I found this mode hard enough. God knows what advanced mode is going to include. But I know when they first released it, the only version of the game was advanced mode. And lots of people were very angry with it and found it very, very difficult to play. Uh, which is why the, the slightly easier mode came out, which is the one I just played. I think I love how it fits in universe. I love what they did. This is this is the one cool thing about fan created things, right? You know these guys are fans of the series, are fans of Half-Life probably, but definitely fans of Portal. They've gone in, they've done all the legwork, they've done all the research, they've kind of worked out, okay, what could be happening? Why has Chell Shell suddenly woke up at the beginning of Portal 2. What triggered that? How can we get to that? Uh, what, what what area do we want? Do we want to go like all the way back into 1920s? Or do we want to fit in between the two games? Do we want to act as the bridge between the two games? I love the fact that they've you can feel the research. You can feel the attention to detail. You can even like down to having the girl be a different core or Aegis and all this other stuff. There's so much attention to detail. There's so much research gone into it that it fits into the story like a glove. And I absolutely love that. I come, as you can possibly tell, I come off of recently having seen uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I went to see it for my birthday. Very luckily I went to see it for my birthday. Uh, and I really enjoyed the production of it. But even when it first came out in 2016, when I read the screenplay or the script, the biggest thing about it was the characters felt weird. People weren't acting like they did. And to be fair, they used time travel, which is one of my least favorite plot devices ever because it's lazy and it's so easy to have everything go wrong and then go, well, don't worry, we'll just go back through this thing and it's all sorted again, which they do. Spoilers for that. Um, but... With that, you can, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that Jack Thorne and John Tiffany weren't uh, or aren't big fans of, this, of the franchise, because why would you take on a project like that? Well, huh, why would you take on a project like that if you weren't? I'm just saying that the way the characters act and the, and the way things are done, it's almost, it's not been approached with, is this really how these characters will behave? It's, it's just, it's, it doesn't feel like a Harry Potter story, right? And I'm kind of going off on a tangent, so I'll stop because that's, a tangent for another video, uh, which if you're interested in Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and my opinions on that, do keep an eye on the channel because there is something this way wicked coming. No, that's not the phrase, but you know what I'm trying to say. But basically, it's... You could... It, it just feels like anyone who would, like, want to put the research and want to do the legwork for it would come up with a better story than what they did. Characters would feel truer to who we know them as from the Seven Book series, rather than these weird characters who kind of just have their own weird way of being for the sake of being. Like, Ron's character was very much just comedic value for the for the for for like a break from the seriousness they're trying to go for with everybody else. Harry's character is weird AF. But anyway, enough on that. This feels very true to the stories we know, the world we know, the universe we know, the lore we know. I absolutely loved that post credit scene. It was the little red ribbon on top, if you will. That was the perfect way to end that game. Um, like I said, some of it was a bit annoying, as I'm sure you could tell. Overall, it felt like a Portal game. And I think for a fan-made game like this, that's what they're going for. They're going for an original story that feels like it can fit nicely into universe, that feels like it could have been made by Valve. And I think there's certain little indicators as you go through that, that, are, that are clear that it's not made by Valve, right? Um, and I, I suppose the little bit at the end where you're basically copy-pasting what you do with Wheatley in Portal 2 at the beginning of Portal 2, I think you do that? I can't remember, it's been so long since I played that game. I'm not sure if that I would have preferred to be slightly different. Maybe rather than having, um, I don't know, turrets be reprogrammed, there's a thing you manage to attach to your portal gun that allows you to take down the servers or something like that. Um, I suppose that then, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That 
causes its own complications. But what I'm saying is it fits very well. I'm happy to take this as canon because it feels, especially that post credit scene, feels like it just fits snugly, perfectly with very little... Um, yeah, but that doesn't make sense because of X, Y, Z. It fits seamlessly into the story. Gameplay, some of it, a little bit of work to do in my opinion. Some of it's a little bit irritating so it's a little bit too difficult um i know they were trying to make it hard they weren't trying to make it an easy walk in the park which which shows to be fair very much so um but all in all a great game if you've got the patience i and you enjoyed the portal games i really would say go give this one a go i do believe it's free uh on steam i'm confident it's free but if that's wrong i'll put the price on the screen uh now but do go and give it this go go and give these guys some support it's a really good game it's well put together and although it was infuriating in parts uh partially because i don't do well under time pressures like that as well uh, which if you see me play other games you know anyway but that is it. That is all I have for you for Portal Stories, Mel. We finally got there after a very long delay uh, after the first couple of episodes went up. I'm so grateful for everybody who found the channel through me playing Portal or even this that hung around and has stuck around and has seen it through to its completion. I do hope you carry on subscribing to the channel and check out all the other things. As I said, the Half-Life games are coming soon. Now, I'm going to address this because it's been going around. I am aware that the first Half-Life game has 1998 graphics and they're not great. I am aware there is a new remake called Black Mesa. Mesa? I'm gonna follow how to say that. Uh, I'm aware it exists. It has better graphics. I am going to start with playing Half-Life 1, the original. I expect it to not have great graphics. It's from 1998. I'm also planning on playing through the Harry Potter games ahead of Hogwarts Legacy coming out later on this year. And the first one of those, trust me, has terrible graphics as well. I kind of expect people to want to watch that because they want to watch that gameplay and not necessarily worry too much about the graphics. However, I do also intend on playing Black Mesa as well. Kind of to do a little comparison between the two games, see what Black Mesa kept lost from the original game. Also, we can then compare graphics. Um... But I want to basically put it down there. I'm going to play both. I'm going to play Half-Life 1 first. I'll probably play through all the Half-Lifes and then play Black Mesa at the end. Maybe if there's enough demand for it, which there very likely will be because I'm, even though I'm doing this now, I very much expect a lot of people on that first episode of Half-Life 1 to be like, Mah, did you know that Black Mesa is out and it's up to date and it's better graphics and blah, blah, blah. I'm very much expecting that. So I'll probably play Black Mesa after Half-Life. Um... But we will play them both, okay? So I, <laughs> I'm just kind of caveating this because I've been having many discussions with people on various portal videos of when you play Half-Life, you should play this or don't do that, you've got to play this. So I just want to kind of put the line in the sand. I'm going to play both. I'm going to play Half-Life 1 first, the original 1998 game. Because I kind of want to see it. Everyone's talked down these graphics so much. I want to see... I mean, I thought Portal 1 was pretty bad graphics-wise. Um... And, and keyboard sensitivity i watch that back sometimes i'm like jesus i should have made the mouse sensitivity sorry a lot less than it was but enough rambling we've been going for over an hour now an hour and 20 minutes jesus hopefully the video isn't that long uh i think i'll cut out a bit of me running around doing nothing um though i did have a pretty straight run through that last episode i did say this one was probably going to be a bit longer because i felt that the way the chapter went was how it was going to go and there wasn't going to be a nice point to stop in the middle Plus, you know, the game reviews on the end of it as well, which is why it goes on for a little bit longer. But I do hope you enjoyed it. Once again, thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed this video and this play, please give this video a like so I know what kind of content you guys want to see more of. If there's any other games you want to see me play, I have a lovely list, but I'm happy to add to it. So please leave those down in the coffee pot below. I will definitely take a look at them. Sometimes I take a look at games and they're just not my kind of game. And I don't think I'm going to enjoy playing them, which is why I'll pass on them. If you suggest a game, I'll 100% have a look at it, basically is what I'm saying. Um, just because I look at it isn't a guarantee I'm going to play it. But I will definitely have a look if you guys suggest games. Because I want you guys to have a little bit of influence on what happens on the channel as well. But for now, before I completely lose my voice, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast as always. If you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some good old-fashioned love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time I upload a video. Stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video!
was going to say something, but my brain has proceeded to forget it, so never the mind. <laughs> 